We're going to play on page 25, the processional from Symphony Number no. 1 this week. Also, just a reminder to do the stuff at the top of the page, and then you can take a picture of it and you can send it to me in the Tanara app, or you can um, send it to me via email. Um, you're supposed to circle the intervals that it's asking for. So make sure you do that, and then you can practice this processional from Symphony Number no. 1. So um, just look through the notes quickly. Um, we have some G's on the D string and then we switch to the G string and we play down there a little bit. So just kind of glance through, look at the notes. Um, notice that at the end on the last line you have an F sharp that pops up and then it goes back to F natural. So let's play through just doing the notes. So don't worry about the rhythm, don't worry about the dynamics or bowings or anything like that, okay? Mm -hmm. on those or if you want to do them a little slower go back through and do that let's clap the rhythm from the beginning so we have four beats in a measure we're going to start on which beat of the measure that's right beat four because there's a pickup note so we'll count to three and we'll go one ready go four one two three four one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. 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 One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two, three. All right, so why are there only three beats at the end of the piece? Anybody know? Because of the pickup note at the beginning. So your fourth beat is actually borrowed and put at the beginning. And then did anybody get surprised by the dotted rhythm in the third line? Yeah, so if you need to go over that a little bit, go ahead and do that. But now let's try to put the notes and the rhythm together. If you can do the bowings too, that's great, but don't worry about it if that seems like too much all at once, okay? Ready, one, ready, go. <laughs> After you're done practicing it, you can play with the violin part and see how it sounds together. All right, um, so now let's look at the bowing. So there's some slurs in there. So if you didn't do the slurs the last time, then just rewind it a little bit and play with me again, concentrating on the slurs. And then we have some dynamics. Um, so at the beginning, it's forte. Halfway through the second line, it's piano. And then one note past the beginning of the second, the third line, it goes back to forte. So let's play it one more time, putting everything together, notes, rhythm, bowings, and now dynamics too. 
One, ready, go. <laughs> Teaching video, but the violin part, and you can play with that. <laughs> 